Hello and welcome to Lopichit Gaming. So we have less than 24 hours for the GOG Spring Sale. So it ends tomorrow. We have 21 hours to go. So I thought I'll make another quick video looking at the best deals under $5 that I did not cover in the previous video. Now, unfortunately, because of a lack of time, I haven't done the usual stuff where I pick up gameplay or trailer footage. I'll just show you the store pages because if I spend another three, four hours making the video it'll just be less time for you to pick through any deals so first up we have van helsing the final cut so this is uh, three games in one uh, they had three separate games one two three they combined it into sort of like a continuous game and this is the complete package for less than five dollars we have 449 90 percent off of course the item free so no online activation required and of course you have up to 30 days for a refund on these things so if you wish to own the games, definitely give this a try. This is available on Steam as well, but if you buy it here for less than $5, you get the full thing. You can play it offline, things like that. So this is Van Helsing. Next, we have Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. There are three Stalker games. All three of them are under five. I'm just showing you the first game here. So very intense, atmospheric FPS games, open world as well. And this is something definitely worth the trying and so you can see here some more details 15 hours for the main campaign 25 roughly for all the stuff 42 hours for the completionist so yeah you can start with this one this is just under five dollars at 4.99 next we have stranglehold so this is a fun game um for, uh, if you see here it's a take on the role of inspector tequila from john Woo's influential action film hardboard starring Yun Fat. I have heard of that, but I've never seen that movie. So this is the same basically character, I guess. So this one is third person bullet time style of action, sort of like Max Payne, the early Max Payne. And yeah, this is only $2.99, 70% off. So should be a fun game. I think I have picked this up recently for myself. I haven't played it though. Next, we have a classic. This is Jade Empire Special Edition. So this is a Bioware RPG from the early 2000s. So this is from 2005 here. And yeah, an interesting setting, interesting game here. Uh, I've heard great things about this one as well. So yeah, if you're in the mood for a classic Bioware game and you want to know why people love these Bioware RPGs, this one should be a great one. 75% off, $374. The Saboteur, so I've often mentioned this game, an open world game set in Nazi-occupied Paris. You are a Irish racing driver, something, I forgot his name and you have to basically liberate different districts and areas from the nazi influence the game starts off with everything being in black and white once you liberate that area uh, the colors pop up next we have another classic freedom fighters so this is made by io interactive the people behind the hitman games and this is another game from the early 2000s now a few years ago io interactive a split from square enix their publisher and they became independent and when they became independent they brought this game back so i remember playing this game this was a fun game you have like a squad that you can use you are just like a normal plumber or something and the russians invade new york and you have to become part of the resistance so a fun little game i remember uh, playing and enjoying this back in the day 80 percent off 299 dollars Next, we have Crisis, of course, the very famous Crisis game. This was basically a benchmark tool to see how good your PCs were back in the day, and everybody used to download and try this out to see if their PCs could handle it. It was well ahead of its time. It'll remind you a little bit of Far Cry with all the vegetation and stuff. So yeah, you can have a look and see how well it runs. Now, of course, at Toaster will be able to run it for $99. Next, we have Tomb Raider Game of the Year Edition. So this is the reboot of the Tomb Raider series, the latest one from the early on 2012, I think 2013. So yeah, this is the only one I think from the new series that is available here on GOG, DRF Creepers. I think at this point they might add the others soon as well. But yeah, this one, uh, $4, you get the full game. And yeah, single player game, 70 GB in size, 11 hours to finish it. And yeah, it was a pretty decent game from what I remember. This was given away free on, on Steam, I think, uh, during the pandemic. Next, we have Painkiller Black Edition. So another action FPS game from the mid-2000s. Again, it looks pretty good. Even now, there's like another sort of reboot of this in 2012 or something. But yeah, this is the original one. Black Edition, I think, has all the extra features and everything. Expansion, pack, battle out of hell. Battle out of hell. 
so yeah action games from this era they're just over the top and yeah this is only two dollars and then we have titan quest anniversary edition so this is an uh, arpg sort of similar to um, diablo for example and this is basically has a ancient greek setting although you do go to ancient egypt ancient china and then they've added dlcs where you go to like uh you could say the viking lands and stuff like that so yeah i've played this i really enjoyed this back in the day when i first played this back in 2006 i had like a paid week of work and i've spent the whole time finishing this game and i barely managed to finish it it was that big but i really enjoyed this one this is uh, again 75 percent off for 99 and of course witcher 2 now of course a lot of people talk about witcher 3 and the witcher games but we often overlook how good witcher 2 is witcher 2 is a fantastic game this was the reason witcher 3 became such a big deal and you have two completely different branching paths from the start of the game so it has great replay value as well you can go back and play the game again and choose a different path at the start and yeah whereas graphically looks decent as well and good campaign and has all the usual witcher stuff so 85 percent off 299 dollars uh, then we have Hellblade Senna's Sacrifice, so another mention for this one, 85% off, again, great game, I've mentioned this a lot of times, sequel is coming out in May, I think, so you could play this and get prepared for it, it looks amazing as well, and yeah, this one was pretty good too, when they were independent, I guess, the new one is obviously under Microsoft, so let's see how it turns out. And then we also have Oblivion, so Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, this was my first introduction to the Elder Scrolls series. I remember coming back from work one day on the train and there was this guy who had the boxed uh, PC version and he was just lovingly looking at it and looking at the back of it and I was just sort of picking over to see what the hell this is. And that was my first time hearing about this one. So yeah, great game still. Again, you can get the game of the year edition deluxe and everything for just five dollars now. So yeah, that's a uh, quick look at some more games under five i've already mentioned some in the previous video so you can have a look there i did not repeat any of those so yeah you have about 21 and a bit hours to grab anything interesting of course the sales will be there all the time but at the moment we have more than five and a half thousand deals here all the links will be in the description i'll put them in the pinned comment as well what the hell is this no girlfriend since birth i'm seeing a lot of fmv style games recently everywhere dating sims and stuff like that chinese made games is this chinese yeah i just i've never played a fmv style game it just feels weird to me anyway so yeah this one is a new release so it should be on sale sometime in the future if you are interested but yeah thank you for watching let me know what you picked up from this one and i think i got uh, painkiller and a few more one or two more games i've picked up but uh, generally not that much shopping this time. So anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.